voice of wonder and mystery. Words spoken by President Reagan at Arlington National Cemetery, a garden of stone, resting place for more than 240,000 American military men and women. One gets a feeling on this hallowed ground, the same poignant feeling that one gets looking across the rows of white crosses and stars of David in Europe, in the Philippines, and all the other military cemeteries here in our own land. Each grave marks the resting place of an American hero, all different and yet all alike. As we honor their memory, let us pledge that their lives, that their sacrifices, and that their valor shall be justified and remembered for as long as God gives life to this great nation. General Eisenhower spoke these words to his troops before the World War II invasion of Normandy. The eyes of the world are upon you. The hopes and prayers of liberty-loving people everywhere march with you.
Abraham Lincoln's words at the dedication of Gettysburg, another garden of stone, are as poignant today indeed as powerful as they were in 1863. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. We are met on a great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field as a final resting place for those who here gave their lives that that nation might live. It is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this. But in a larger sense, we cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, we cannot hallow this ground. The brave men living and dead who struggled here have consecrated it far above our poor power to add or detract. The world will little note or long remember what we say here, but it can never forget what they did here. It is for us, the living, rather to be dedicated here to the unfinished work which they who fought here have thus far so notably advanced. It is rather for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us, that from those honored dead, we take increased devotion to that cause for which they gave their last full measure of devotion, that we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain, that this nation, under God, shall have a new birth of freedom, and that government of the people, by the people, and for the people, shall not perish from the earth. sacrifices, that their valor shall be justified and remembered for as long as God gives life to this great nation. Gardens of stone. Gardens of honor.